Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Boa constrictors are amazing animals. And one of the amazing things you may have noticed about your boa is that from time to time, it changes color. Today I want to review the reasons why and the times of the lives of boas when they change color so you know what to expect from your boa as it develops in the years ahead. If you're new to the channel, this is the place for information about all aspects of keeping and breeding boa constrictors in captivity. So make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to learn all about these amazing animals. The first type of color change in boa constrictors are color changes as they develop and mature. And very often, especially with locality boas, the babies don't have the same coloration as the adults. And one classic example are the true red tail boa constrictor constrictors such as this Suriname red tail. So this is a baby about six months old. And when BCC are born, they usually have a much more grayer body coloration than they do as adults. And then the coloration gradually comes in as they mature over about three to five years. So this particular baby is actually a pretty colorful baby because this is a line that is a uh, very high color. You know, the originator of this line had a very nice kind of uh, reddish pinkish body color with blue highlights. And this animal is already beginning to show these colors. However, this animal I expect to get a lot more colorful over the next few years. So if you get a baby BCC and you're a little disappointed because it's not as colorful as you would have hoped, just give it some time. Odds are it'll get more colorful as it matures. And it's also a good idea to look at pictures of the uh, parents of the boa so you have some idea of the color change. But this animal, like I said, is already showing some nice kind of pinkish bluish colors. Let me show you a older animal from this line to give you an idea of what it, this animal might look like in three or four years from now. Here we have a four and a half year old male from the same bloodline as the female I just showed you. In fact, this guy is the uncle of the baby boa I just showed you. And you can see how much more deep his colors are. This beautiful uh, deep purplish pinkish color. So they really do color up over time. Um, with the other types of BCC, the, the, like the Peruvian boas, they start out kind of gray, they get more yellowish. But in general, the BCC will not have their full colors when they're babies. It takes a few years for the colors to come in. Another type of locality boa that needs to get to adulthood before its true colors develop is the long tail boa boa constrictor longicata. And so these animals as adults have this beautiful dark phenotype with all of these dark markings. But when they're babies, they're nowhere near as dark and the pattern is a little bit different. So this is a female who's now going on five years old, approaching sexual maturity. And you can see how dark this animal has gotten, all of the dark belly scales and the beautiful dark head markings. When this animal was a baby, she didn't have this color. She was kind of a more grayish color without all of these dark markings. So the Longicata or a locality boa, that you can't really tell exactly what the adults are gonna look like when they're babies. So it's really a good idea to look at pictures of the adult breeders. Often you'll have a lot of different looks in one uh, litter of these animals. So you might be surprised and you might have to wait to see what your baby eventually develops into. But this animal is probably my favorite longicata of my group and I really love the looks of this particular animal. I just wanted to mention there's a morph boa called the IMG or increasing melanin gene boa. And these animals have a very similar transition over time as the longicata boas. They start out light and they get darker and darker until many of them as adults are almost pure black in color. And with each shed, uh, they have a little bit more black pigment. So I've shown, uh, I have a couple IMG boas and I've shown them off in some of my other videos, so take a look at those if you're interested in the IMG. One last type of locality boa that develops in color as they age are the Argentine boas, boa constrictor occidentalis. And this is another really dark boa, beautiful looking animals. But when they're born, they are nowhere near as dark and they will typically have these pink blotches, which uh, the pink blotches usually fade within the first couple of years. There's actually a bloodline called the Max Pink Bloodline where the animals retain the pink to adulthood. Uh, but I digress. Going, getting back to the Argentine boa, 
not only do the pink blotches fade, but they also get darker in color and the pattern gets less distinct. The saddles kind of start breaking up uh, until as adults they have this beautiful dark color with these beautiful creamy markings and it's really hard to see the saddles on a lot of individuals because the saddle pattern just becomes really broken up and distorted. The babies have a much clearer saddle pattern, much better defined saddles. You know, often people will ask me, you know, they just got a baby Argentine boa. They're not even sure they have one because it's got saddles and the color is different. But this is a uh, example of a locality boa that changes a lot as they age. And again, ask to see pictures of the parents if you want a better idea how your baby is going to look as an adult. Now I want to briefly comment on how morph boas age over time. And unfortunately, a lot of morph boas tend to have a loss of color as they age, uh, most prominently the call albino morphs. So this is actually a call albino. This guy is seven years old. And this guy has actually retained his color really well. You can see he still has this beautiful reddish tail and his orange is still pretty deep. He's probably not quite as colorful as he was as a baby, but really good uh, color retention in this animal. This animal was bred into a pastel background that retains the color better. And it's also 25% true red tail ball, which explains why the animal has retained its color better than most call albinos. A lot of the call albinos over time, they get kind of this washed out pale yellowish look and they really don't retain the colors very well. The same is true of the sharp albinos, but I found that the, the T positive albinos, especially the VPI, retains its color a lot better than the tyrosinase negative albinos. So um, this guy, as I said, looks pretty good, um, but in, in general, any morph based on the call will tend to lose its color over time. You know, having a sun glow where you breed in the, the uh, hypo with the albino helps it retain the color better, but in general, they don't look quite as good over time. So something you might want to consider when you see these beautiful pictures of these really brightly colored morph babies, often they will fade somewhat when they become adults. So those were some examples of boas which change color over the course of several years as they develop to adulthood. But there's also examples of boas which change color on a day-to-day -day basis. Most locality boas will change color from lighter to darker to some extent, but it's especially pronounced in the island boas like this crawl key uh, boa. And these animals will change, make these color changes due to differences in their mood, their stress level, the temperature. And it's also been shown that they change color from night to day. So there is a study done by the crawl key boa expert and renowned herpetologist, Scott Bobeck. And what he did is he measured the color changes of boas from Belize, both mainland Belize boas, as well as crawl key boas from the island off the coast of Belize. And he used a spectrometer, so basically a machine that measured precisely the colors. Um, you know, in a very uh, objective fashion. And he found that the animals did change color. They were lighter at night and darker during the day. And he saw this for both the mainland Belize as well as the crawl key boas. He also saw there was a change in the, the seasons. What he found is that boas from Belize were lighter during the wet season and darker during the dry season. And this paper was published in the Journal of Herpetology with the title Variation in Color and Color Change in Island and Mainland Boas. And he's actually got some pictures showing the extents of the color changes in both the mainland and the crawl key forms of the Belize Boas. I'll put the link to the PDF uh, in the description of this video. So if you want to go check out this paper, it's fascinating reading. Uh, and he goes into more detail about the reasons for these color changes. But, you know, be sure to check that out if you're interested. Another type of island boa that's really famous for its color changes is the hog island boa like this one. And it's amazing how fast these animals can change color from dark to light. Uh, this animal right now is more on the lighter side, but I've seen these animals uh, look one way and then I come back and look in their enclosure an hour later and they look completely different. So pretty amazing. It's likely that multiple factors influence these daily color 
uh, fluctuations. So as I mentioned, they tend to get lighter at night than during the day, but also the temperature and probably the stress level and the emotions of the animal play a role as well. So a lot of things going on, a lot of things that we don't really understand yet. So really cool areas for research into boa behavior. And then one other thing I wanted to mention that can play a role in the boa's color is its health. So if, a, if your boa has a disease or is ill, or it has poor nutrition, chances are its colors might start looking a little off or faded. Uh, sometimes color it fades can be indicative of uh, nutritional deficiencies. Um, I've even seen reptile vitamins which make this claim that they bring your boa's colors to life. Never, you know, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't actually use any vitamin supplements. I feed my animals uh, rodents which have been raised on a healthy diet and they do just fine, no need for the vitamin supplements. And the colors of my animals have always been really nice, so I haven't worried about that. But if you are seeing this fading in color for uh, an unknown reason, you might want to talk to your vet about your boa's diet. Another factor that influences your boa's color is where it is in its shed cycle. So as you probably know, it's normal for your boa to shed its skin anytime from once a month to about once every three or four months. And the colors are always the brightest immediately after it sheds its skin. So there's a gradual drop in the brightness and intensity of its colors as it goes further into the shed cycle towards the next shed. But then you'll notice this abrupt change right before it's gonna shed. So about a week or two before the boa sheds, its colors become really dull. In fact, it's, it's like uh, night and day in some cases. And you'll also notice that the colors become milky. You'll see this kind of milky, opaque looking uh, coloration to the animal's belly especially. The eyes will get all cloudy or opaque and the colors will be very muted and dull. And then typically the colors will brighten up a little bit and the eyes will clear up and then a day or two after that the animals will shed. And so right after they shed they have their most intense colors. So I always try to photograph my boas right after they shed. And I would recommend if you want the best colors of your animal in the photos, take the pictures of it right after it sheds. One final reason for color changes in the boas has to do with breeding, specifically in the females. So when a female becomes gravid, she goes through this post-ovulation shed, which typically happens about two weeks after ovulation or about 105 days before the animals are due to be born. But typically she'll have this shed and then right after having the shed, her colors are quite a bit darker. And so it's thought that the darker colors in a gravid female are better at absorbing heat. So the animal can uh, have the proper uh, incubation temperatures for the ba developing babies inside. And so one of the telltale signs that your animal, your female might be gravid is this darkening in color. So if you see your animal have a shed after mating and then she becomes a little darker and she's coiled up over the hot spot, odds are pretty good that your animal is gravid at that point. So something to look for when you're breeding your boas. So those are some reasons for the color changes in your boas. As I mentioned, these are amazing animals and it's always great to monitor their color and you know, to figure out what that can tell us about the boa. I hope this video was helpful. As always, please uh, feel free to reach out to me with any questions or comments. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.